to what extent do you think the problems in the church uh, reflect the, uh, the general atmosphere in our society? Uh, I'm probably the oldest person here. And incidentally, my name is Henry Borger. Uh, I grew up, I came of age during the 1950s. And people younger than me probably do not appreciate how society has changed dramatically and so quickly since that time. And uh, in that era, young Catholic girls were considered the, 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 the hallmark of uh, chastity. That's not true anymore. And um, it's, it would be remarkable if the church leaders hadn't been infected by uh, the, the attitudes in, the, uh, in, in, in our culture in general, which I describe as hedonism. Um, and so um, are, are we uh, trying to deal with a problem that's caused by our society, or largely caused by our society, uh, just within the Catholic Church? I mean, to be sure, right, we've always said we're um, a, ch a church present in the, in the world, in the world, but not of the world. But that doesn't mean, obviously, that culture doesn't shape the way um, people think and act, the questions they bring to the church, and the way in which the church needs to frame her, her answers. And, and many of these things at their root are the sins that have been with us since the beginning of time in some ways, right? So we're always going to have those challenges to be able to preach to and to have to address. But does it, um, I think it's more challenging now to help people see what how discipleship calls you to live and how that becomes increasingly countercultural um, given the, the place that we find ourselves in the world. I, I think um, for too long the church has assumed that the culture would form us and our children in the next generation in a way that was conducive to the Christian faith. I think that was a mistake. Um, I'm someone who is quite fond of criticisms of, of culture, right? Uh, but at the same time, I think it's worth pointing out, um, yes, the culture can shape the church in ways that are, that are not helpful and can, can lead us away from the cross. Um, but the church should never find itself so unprepared that it needs to rely on complaining about culture. Criticize culture, yes, but you know what? One of the points of having a church is so that the culture gets changed by the church. Um, and if, if the church has been too comfortable allowing itself to be shaped by the church, I think the church has also been too comfortable in, in neglecting its responsibility to really try and change the culture, which is happens as much through uh, daily habits and, and, and the lives of ordinary people as it does through ideas and, and, uh, um, and grand evangelical schemes and things like that, uh, the church should be shaping culture. Um, so if the culture has been a malign influence, I, I would agree with that, but I also think that um, we can't just blame the culture. Our job is in part to, to love this world that we're in, the world that we find, not the world that we wish it was. So. <laughs> 